I am uh, Walter Daze. I'm production manager here at the uh, Rock Worker Festival in Belgium. Uh, we uh, grew up in the same family uh, with uh, Live Nation, Stageco and, uh, and us. That's actually how we started. Uh, we're a bunch of friends uh, organizing a festival. It's uh, one of the biggest festivals in Europe, maybe one of the biggest in the world. It exists for 30 years now. We've been working on this festival from 1986 we were doing sound. At that time there was only one stage. It was in two, uh, two villages. So we did an overnight from one village to the other. It was exactly the same lineup, exactly the same PA, exactly the same light. So it was a really big enterprise to take everything down and put it up again overnight. And then uh, it, the festival became bigger and bigger. And now it's a five stage festival. It was a lot different, of course. It was like uh, the first year I was here, uh, 30,000 people. Uh, U2 was there, uh, Simple Minds, uh, young bands at that time. Uh, it was very popular already, but of course uh, productions were not what productions are today. Now we see people uh, showing up with 10 trailers of equipment like Metallica and, and uh, Rammstein does. At that time uh, it was a van. And there was hardly any PA and not, not enough PA. Uh, at that time, so we, we really had to be uh, creative to, to find solutions uh, with a growing audience. I started working at DML when it was a really small company. We did a demo actually at this festival on, on a small stage with the first Y18 system ever, and we were immediately impressed. The difference from the regular PA systems we had before uh, was huge. Since we had that, we started using it uh, first on the main stage, then on on the other uh, stages and tents. The only linery at that time that really was out was the, the VDOSC. And uh, all, although it was a good system and everyone was really impressed because it was the first linery system, I, I always thought that Adamson was one step further than VDOSC. The, the, the horizontal dispersion was much better. And I am a rock and roll guy, so I liked uh, the balls and the sound of the. We always said, like, we have a, a VDOSC system with balls. We use uh, Adamson uh, speakers on, uh, on all stages for many years now. Uh, I can't remember, we, we didn't have it, I didn't know the system, so then it's sometimes hard to explain the Red Hot Chili Peppers and uh, Bruce Springsteen to use <laughs> a system they've never saw before. But it worked and they were all really, really happy with it. And now uh, uh, audio uh, specs, Nobody even cares anymore. They know it's Adamson. Uh, they all know it. Uh, most of the bands have been here multiple times, and they're all really, really happy with it. Uh, uh, yeah, only smiles out front. <laughs> well, the, the fact that it's good is that every engineer is very happy. And this is the first time we used the E15. I know the first time when we used the Y18, it took us like five or six years to get it really right. And this is already better than what we had, so we can only go take it up. Main stage is like 72 E15s, uh, 64 subs, and there are 24 Y10s, 66 Y18s in delay. I still love the Y axis, no doubt about it, but the advantage, it's just an, an improvement of the Y axis. The only thing that, that could have been improved was the, the HF section, which was very good, but if this one can throw us even like 100 meters without no problem, and everything is more tuned. I mean, the, the system is just like Formula One update car, you know, that's been tuned, everything is a little bit better. The rigging, of course, is much better. The rigging here is very difficult because there's little space to, to hang the system. And with the Y series, you had to make a train of the boxes to, keep, to pull them up. And this one goes up straight, so you need only like two square meters to lift it. It was like one engineer could do it. And, I think the system was up in two hours or something, so very, very fast. We are uh, world famous uh, in Belgium <laughs> for festivals. Every weekend we are somewhere else and uh, using uh, Adamson uh, PA. You have to experience it to, to know what it is. Um, every fe festival is different uh, around the world. Uh, it's a different environment, it's a different vibe. Come over and have a look. We have uh, 90 uh, nationalities on site uh, today, so you'll never be alone.